the grand finale of Ted's 2-2 two two Cup. Shao KK and 1-2-0 versus Fly and Shishi. Both teams, oh well, 1-2-0 uh, and Shao KK have not lost a single series. And even better, if I'm not mistaken, okay, they lost one map to Lolight and so on, but that's it. Four games, one map dropped. Apart from that, 2-0, 3-0. And it looks a little worse for Fly and Shishi. They lost a match already against... Who was it? Um, Yumiko and WFZ. Maybe not that used to the unusual orc... Uh, human... Undead combo. But we start on... Blizzard's classic map, we start on Lost Temple. 0-0, zero, zero, best of five, first who claims three points is $1,200 richer. And off we go. How is this not working? Okay, you know what I mean. So, colors are correct. Okay, guess that. Before we start, thank you, Grüne Brille, for another sub. Via Amazon Prime. Thank you very much. So, for this grand finale, we have two teams, of course. This is Fly 100% in red and Joshi Shi in red as well on the right side of the map. Starting with the Keeper of the Grove, Blade Master combo with Grunts. And... Mm, an Engine of War, so Archer opening. Okay. On the other side, we do see a very, very, very unusual combo. For 1-2-0 and Shao KK, Undead Orc. As I said, I have no idea how they play this. Grunts, Fiends, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, but then what? Statues, Destroyers, Raider, Walker, I don't know. There's many, many possibilities. They have figured out a way to beat the remaining 2-2 two two Elite. With only one map lost so far. Lost Temple! A very big map, basically an invitation to expansions. But both teams start with bad positions. Usually you want the Night Elf to spawn close to this position and you want the Orc to uh, spawn close to this. But attack. maybe Undead Orc is not made for expansions himself, so we'll see. This is going to be immediate level 2. Oh, Treants! No Entangle! That means either no Entangle or no Thornsora. And you all know how great Thornsora is in Bear Mirror. And of course that applies to 2 and 2 as well. On the other side, shop at the Temple. Of course the Temple is always nice for Blade Masters as they are claws on all four green spots here. Which can be sniped easily. Ah, the races are wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. I will fix that real quick. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, sorry about that. More bread. Now we're good. So TC fur uh wait, TC first? A town is under siege. It's a TC No wait, we saw Blade Master, didn't we? No, it's tier one. It's a TC first. Oh my god. It's not Headhunters, right? But it's a double Rex. are under attack. And why would you go head oh double surround? Ha ha! Ha ha! I was a little confused because we saw this Blade Master before and I thought, what? But he gets a double surround, he loses one grunt, good opening for Shao KK. And 1-2-0, forcing the town portal, getting a grunt. But, there should be an expansion coming up soon for Shishi. He is focusing on Mass Huntress at the moment, I guess. But he only has, okay, Treants and Entangle. Entangle works well against Fiends and Grunts alike, but with so much meat shield and so much damage from fiends. This should be an easy fountain creep, but usually the one who wins the fountain wins the game and he gets the keeper of the grove. Oh my god. 
Flying Shishi getting annihilated here. They get a fiend off of this, but stop! No TP, Keeper down! No time for him. Coil on the fiend to not lose the second one, but it wasn't Entangle running. So he gets that at least. 1-2-0, the best on that in the world. Microing well, but Fly is getting some more kills here. Level 2.6 already, and the TC almost surrounded there, but blocking his way with grunts. So many grunts! I mean, you get a, such a good bang for your buck as a buffer unit. Especially if you go with two barracks. It's another surround here. That's almost level three for both of the heroes. Look at the items, by the way. Didn't see it, unfortunately. Oh, they're still alive. Okay. It gets another fiend. There's only one coil. The hunters, will they take care of this? Yes, nicely done. And Fly is getting way too many kills with his Blade Master. But they got the heroes. Uh, at least one hero. They got a few grunts, so kind of equal, but grunts benefit so much from this fountain. It's incredible. And of course the unholy aura as well. So much HP regen. But that's level 3 for Fly. What an action-packed opening here on Lost Temple. Late Master is surrounded now though. Has a lot of wind walk. He can't get out. You see, not level 3, DK not level 3, he's saving his mana for that. Stomp becomes so much better. <laughs> and still the Overseers are up for grabs. That's level 3, so at least he has Coil. So I think the Blade Master cannot reveal himself. If there's a Stomp-Coil combo, he's down. But the good thing is, they get rid of the Fiends, that means they have way more map dominance here. Whoa, that was a nice stomp, but getting hit uh, with Huntress because there's basically nothing they can do against this Huntress. They are reigning supreme here. I mean, we do have a lot of grunts, but you can micro against that. The DK is surrounded. Yep. Walks right into it and finally has to TP out for only his DK since there's not a single... Okay, there are two feeds left. But of course, Shao KK has to run away as well. Still no expansion on neither side. Attack. It's just mass. Is there a tech? One to zero is on tier two. Going for a slaughterhouse lich. Uh oh oh uh oh! Hex critical, and that's it for the TC. That was kind of to be expected, to be honest. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven grunts. Excuse me. Ten grunts. They're struggling hard. The former GCS champions, they will get the fountain. The player's forces are under attack. And the superior position here. 1 to 0 is scouting for expansions, but there is none. But I'm kind of betting my ass that there will be one in a bit. Big invul potion on him. Always nice to see. Upgrades, and I guess. Shishi is feeding Fly now. Beastery Lodge, Raider Walker. And Kodos. But there's so much map control now. Thanks to Shishi's Huntress. He would have never won that fight without the Huntress. And without taking out the Fiend so fast. Chao KK is still tier 1.5. Only option he has is Grunts at the moment. He can't build anything else. Still waiting for his TC. Still only 3 Fiends. He can't help him. And he can't pick that fight as well. Like with two raiders and hex. Uh oh, speed scroll engaged. Man, this is not what you want. At least he has frost armor now. But this lich is so exposed. <coughs> Finally a war mill. Getting the shot back up. Doesn't need it at the moment. Maybe Clarities would be nice. 1-1 one, one upgrades then for the Huntress. We have double Beastery. And the first attack upgrade plus tier 3. Fly seems to be very, very sure of himself. Are under Gets rid of the one barracks. What can help him now? I mean, there is... Almost no anti-air except Ensnare. So maybe a Wyvern transition, if you can't afford it. Legion Doomhorn. Oh yeah, baby. Unholy Aura here. Mana Stone is pretty nice, though. 
And Shao KK got the second item from the fountain. But he's supply stuck. So okay, that's it for the ra uh, for the wyvern counter. One two zero wants to creep, but he has to help soon. He does have a town portal. Because Shao KK once again has to fight for himself. It's only 47 supply. We have 48 on Shishi alone, plus Spirit Link, plus Raiders, plus the Blade Master, TP to get a better position. But okay, right, let's see. The Raiders are storming forward. Of course, there's no disable, there's no stun. Uh, except this one here, but he couldn't really reach. Ethereal form. Finish so he has to finish it with a coil. More raiders as the Kodo is there. And more walkers. He's gonna break upkeep soon, I guess. 50 supply and 48 versus 43 and 47. 10 supply advantage. And upgrade wise, 0-0 zero, zero on the fiends. Zero zero on them. One one forces are here attack. and zero one here. So three upgrades ahead. Wind of the wind can be put to good use. Still no dispel in this army. And what is Shao KK doing with his tier two now? There's no Alta, so no Shadow Hunter at the moment. I thought he would be going for a Zeppelin or something, but of course it's bonkers. Dreadlord! Okay. Style points for, uh, for 1 to 0, but. Will this ever reach the light of day? Or see the light of day? I question this! There's no repair thanks to Entangle. And the Alta goes down. There's no Tavern on this map, obviously. So TP in now. To defend both bases. But there's so much mobility. What the hell was that? Stomp into nothing. That was pretty bad and... Yeah, I mean, you can spam Stomp for a little bit. Hex, there's the next end snare. Oh, there's a Town Portal, so he can get out if he so desires. But that was just played bad. He gets the Shadow Hunter for it. 1 to 0 is coming in as well. So, how much will Fly lose? There's the Kodo down, he gets the Grunt back. There's another Grunt surrounded there. So, that TP was nice, but on what cost? He got the Altar already. And he doesn't do anything against the Hunters. Of course, this will take a while. Expansion is coming up. Expansion is up already here. Quite hurt, but whatever. The defense was nice. But also he realizes I need to be annoying. I need pillage for this. And no statues for 1 0 First destroyer is in the air, but that's the only one at the moment. Players' forces are under attack. Fly lost a little bit too much for my taste. A town is under siege. While there's again some connection issues here. I don't know if that will recover or not. Sorry about that. Base race again! This seems to be the theme for this 2-2 two two tournament. Base races are the shit. A player's forces are under attack. Maybe I will restart my router after here. So, fly without income. Shao KK without income. And Shishi has kind of like a golden goose. Is the golden goose. But for how much longer? Why the fuck? Okay, I will just continue casting this as. I don't know what's up here. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. He 
will... Oh no, he doesn't get this tree. He just doesn't get this tree. A town is under siege. <laughs> oh, it's that bad. That was very unfortunate. So three gold mines versus one now. Shao KK lost basically everything. But okay, here's the reinforcements. Who will lose the entire base first? Flay and Shishi are coming back for the defense. Nice stomp against this Blade Master, but he does have enough mana, so he has to TP out. Has to go to 1 through 0's base, of course. A player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. And there's another expansion by Shishi. They are on the clock now, that's for sure. The longer Shishi stays alive with his two gold mines, or maybe three gold mines, the better it gets. A player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. <laughs> that stomp was pretty sick, but there's no range army at all. You can put a uh, ten thousands of grunt in front of that, but Huntress will still win. Oh, he's losing so many of them. It's just so much better. A player's forces are under attack. Still trying to get the screen back up. They got rid of an expansion, so it's one gold mine versus one. <laughs> That's a pretty cool game here. Shao KK is doing his best to defend at home. Level 5 on the Blade Master. Finally, 1 to 0 comes home, and now with the Fiends, can he do something? But he's just storming in there. I don't know if that's the best idea, but so far with the destroyer backup it works. A player's forces are under attack. But the second gold mine is up again. And Fly is expanding as well, too. Is under siege. Shao KK can't get back into this game. He has to fight with what he has now. And that is poor 27 supply. There's even a tree of eternity and bears. So if there's no tree of eternity, then there's no bears. But he has to defend at home again. It's their only source of income. And I think Shishi and Fly, they're just out mining them at the moment. There's so much. 40 supply here. 37 there. This Blade Master is such a beast! Catches the heal wave. And now Shao KK is coming in as well. <sighs> Double kill. Actually, 1 2 0 helps them, in the, helps them in the game with nice nukes. Close to level 4, people of the Grove. This is such a fascinating opening to this 2 on 2 tournament, man. A player's forces are under attack. They're fighting their little hearts out. <laughs> this one grunt mine. Okay, one gold mine. Okay, we think we can say two gold mines. 
three gold mines, and this one is dead. How much gold here? 2,000 gold for 120. And then what? They're playing with fire here, but what can they do? Where is 120? Doesn't he have a town portal? He does have a town portal, but he wants to knock it down first, using so much mana on this repair. But then what? It's going into the Black Citadel. With Master Bears now, level 4 on the Keeper of the Grove. Raw being used, 25% damage boost on everything. The Grand... <laughs> are falling left, right, and center. And all of them die. It's basically just the TC de uh, left. Oh my god, what am I saying here? The TC, oh my god, Invo Potion last second. But he has only six supply. He has this TC and the Peon. Now comes one to zero. Gets the first bear, gets the second bear. But it's officially one against two now. There is an expansion. But it's scouted, and the Blade Master sees it and takes care of it. Level five and a half. But it's only one gold mine. Ah, two gold mines. Okay, sorry. The final building of Shao KK is down as well. So all he has to do is use his TC wisely. That's his only job. One two zero is preparing for the late game with the second gold mine. But especially Shishi can just place trees of life everywhere. I mean, 1 to 0 is great and all, but he can't play against two players at the same time. That's impossible. 40 supply for Shishi, 42 for Fly, and 47 with 1000 gold for 1 to 0. He's banking a lot, you can see it. And Tangle Tree and Harass is actually working quite nicely. He's just camping, he's just turtling. <laughs> oh, I thought that was close. A player's forces are under attack. This is truly an epic game, which gets a little fucked up by the connection issues I have here. But he actually makes it work and gets the gold mine up. It's almost unbelievable. Dryads now. Dryads bears for Shishi. Three ancients of lore. Tree of Life is back in the base. Still ten thousand in here. A town is under siege. Is this the final attack? Can 120 hold this? He's far away. He does have a, a town portal though, but there's nothing to town portal on! The necropolis is gone! 
gets it right against the towers, but he has to walk all the way back. Or TP here, but there is already Fly waiting for him with open arms. And this is no income anymore. The destroyer is super hurt. The TC comes in, but he can't stomp too much. The Dryads won't be affected by this. Level 5 on the TC. Yeah, stomp. Okay, but whatever. It's too much gold. There's one Acolyte mining now. One. He does have 700 gold, though. Another expansion by Fly. This will be number okay. This is number one, two, three, four gold mines versus one. This one doesn't count as it's gone. This is of course a great fight position, but once he has one or two chimeras, this game should be gone. Level four and a half. Level five and a half. It's not like ah well, it's five five four. If we can somehow get rid of the raider of the heroes, maybe then. But even then, how does he want to kill the, the players' Expos? forces are under attack? Another tree of life here. Finally, they are doing what they are supposed to do, getting even more gold out of those temples. Plus nine. Oh yeah, they crept so much more. They mined so much more gold and still one two zeros in the game because they are kind of afraid of him. Using the mana region now. Even could Blade Storm break this? A player's forces are under attack. Coming in with raiders. There's Spirit Link, there's Heal Wave, there's a Heal Scroll, there's an Invul. Fly is desperate, he wants to break this now. Going for the TC, there's an Invul Potion, super long stomp. 1 2 0 is not coming in, he's getting rid of the Night Elf here, but only just a little bit. Well, he has to hold on to this, but the towers are gone! And it's, yeah, another stomp against this, but oh, if there's a Call of Blade Master, dead! Invul Potion! Super last second, well done. And he gets away, not with murder against the gold mine, but the defense is certainly weakened. And there's this Keeper of the Grove getting another Crypt Fiend. 1 2 0 is down to 47 with one Destro. And he will be intercepted. No, oh, he wants the Keeper. Oh, the Steph is on cooldown! No TP! The Keeper is toast! Invis Potion, can you dispel it? He got it! Oh, that was beautiful! That was certainly beautiful. Dispelling invul potions, invis potions. The destroyer's uh, charm. So. He should have it. Yeah, he has so much gold. But there's no tavern, so it takes forever. Another gold mine for fly. He's at three now. This is pretty sick. How much time can this hero kill buy him? Huh. A player's back forces up. are under attack. He cannot break upkeep really, right? Did he invest into another hero? No. Can he pee? Oh, the destroyer is so important. Don't lose him to Dryads. I think he has to TP home anyway. But then the Dryads can just turn around. Almost level 6. Oh, he gets the destroyer for free. 5 supply down. The TC is basically a, just a defense for this expo. To lower the damage with stun. There's nothing you can do. The main gold mine is down. And here comes the town portal. Where is the stomp? Ah, TP out. 
Level six for the Death Knight. But the thing is, he can't put that to good use. So I guess it's level three aura then. It's level two aura. Maybe it's death pack, just to make sure. Tree of Life walked over there. This one is down as well. So we have at one, two, three, four gold mines. Thirty minute battle on Lost Temple. That's pretty sick. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> and he just won't give up once the Lich gets can the Lich get to six with death and decay. Then, maybe with a Tally Staff, he could just take out one base after another. But now, they are pushing with combined forces and they get the TC out of position there. There is an Invo Potion. Aggressive TP, I think so. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's all he has. 48 supply <laughs> versus 78 and 77. If 1 to 0 witches, he's gone! But he nukes the Plate Master first. So he's out of the equation, and that's the main damage dealer. Can he somehow make the miracle happen? I doubt. Level 5 on the Shadowhunter. So much mana. The DK is in trouble, has to reposition himself. The Fiends are just dying left, right, and center. TC is still alive, but it's just an overwhelming mass against this one. He's trying to swap a potion, but that's it. Level 2 for the pre uh, Priest of the Moon, and GG by Shao KK and 120. And they win the first map after 32 minutes. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So the connection is getting a little better as I see. But not too much. Um, so I'm wondering if I should restart now. Yeah, I think I need to restart everything. Um, okay, I will restart the stream, hopefully fix it, and then be right back as soon as I can. Um, sorry guys, and be right back. Welcome to map 2, we are a little late due to technical seat. difficulties, which uh, seem to be resolved at the moment. We are on Turtle Rock. A map that we haven't seen too much, so let's catch up with this. Level 2, <coughs> the DK, we have again. <laughs> Grunt and TC for 1 to 0 and Chao KK, who just lost their second map in the tournament before it was to Lawliot and So In. And Fly and Shishi, they are just two maps away from the Grand Championship of the TED tournament, TED 2 and 2 tournament. Again, a very late tech, Chao KK with two Grunts here, feeding 1 to 0 a bit, I imagine. Already on the way to tier 2 is Fly and she, she as well. No Huntress opening here. So that should be cool. I don't know if it's Fury Dragons or Hippo Riders or what it is. We'll see about that. And yeah, close to level 3. They get a big mana potion. Noise. Also Talisman of Evasion. Plus the ward here on the other side. The Blade Master taking care of it. So both have one Watch Award, which is. Nice. Black Master with boots. Also kind of helpful. Plus he has level 3 already. But he's getting creep jack. There's a lot of mana though. And no ward. But he gets this grunt most likely. Oh, maybe 2. Nope. Finishes level 3 with this. Where's the coil? There's the coil. Saving the fiend. A player's forces are under attack. So Naga second for Zhou Shishi. We haven't seen too much of Shishi in recent months. 
Didn't even qualify for the third GCS qualifier, therefore not part of the World Championships this year. Or this season. One two zero is at tier two. We're waiting for the Lich to come out. On the other side, Chao KK just started his tech now. That is super late. And it's not like the undead tech is a lot faster. No, no, no. Not the case. Lots of creeping here on TR. Kind of surprising. No rushes, no pushes. Oh, Blackmaster almost got it. I think he got it. He didn't get the item. That was the TC again. Shao KK with quick fingers with big healing. Oh, Shockwave? No stomp, but Shockwave. Okay, yeah, few more narrow positions here, but it's so many arches. I don't know if Shockwave is the right thing to go for. Oh, nice surround. He really has that down, surrounding with grunts, but he opens it up thanks to Heal Wave and Blade Master. Another Shockwave killing an archer. Can, the, can he get the right clicks? He doesn't pay attention to this TC. He gets another a kill here, or to this SH. He has an invul, he has a mana potion, so he can do a lot more. Fiends find the Shadowhunter now. But he will keep him alive. The player's forces are under attack. Nice micro by 120. Saving so many. And another surround in the Naga this time. He gets the kill here. So one of the second heroes is down. And also the Demon Hunter. Kind of in problems. But everything is red or orange now. And he has to get away. Is there another speed scroll? No. So they part ways here. Blade Master trying to find some more kills, but there's Frost Armor. He gets one kill, but that's about it. The coil a little too late. Very rare mistake by 120 here. Tier 3 on the way. And the War Mill is coming for most likely Kodos, I guess. Talents it is. Plus an expansion. In 2 and 2, they play so many expansions, man. It's crazy. Because there's they have twice the forces to defend it. Guess is the main reason. But no sign of a second gold mine for Shao KK yet. Player's forces are under attack. More creeping for the Lich. She wants Nova, of course, on the other side. Red spot already. Which is also a nice place for an expansion. Come of Agility and Helm of Valor. Not too many good items here, to be honest. In this entire day of 2 and 2. Just yet. No big game deciding auras like we saw on Thursday where we had Vamp Aura and True Shot Aura on one team. And this expansion is Toast. Nice scout by Shao KK. Opening up the red spot for 1 2 0 to get more experience on this ledge. And there's basically nothing Shishi and Fly can do about it. Stack stacking up a bit. Yeah, this is mass range. With an orc blocker in the front. So, True Shot Aura would be fantastic. But it's not to be found here, so brilliant, Sora. Clock of Flames for the TC, it's ph phenomenal. History and Lodge it is. Plus Destroyer Fiends. So Raider, Walker, Fiends, Destroyers seems to be the answer. To Archers, Talons, Raider, Walker. On paper, Destroyers should do this. That's only on paper. Tell us an evasion for the Shadow Hunter himself. And the big healing. We're waiting for the second big fight in this game. No Temple of the Damned, by the way, at all. Because Fly is, of course, going for walkers with a depth upgrade, so he does have the spell. To four TC already. A player's oh. forces are under attack. This is so good. 10% damage per second to everything around him. If he positions himself in the talents somehow, that's just great. Also the level 3 shockwave will help him if he gets so far. Level 3 on the Lich. The talents and archers will not have an easy life here. How many heal scrolls do we have? Zero, zero, zero. Okay. Only one. Saving that statue into a destroyer. Second expansion attempts. And more fields. That is forty eight supply for one two zero. 
43 for Shao KK. 50 and 48 on the other side. Nobody really wants to go over upkeep as it seems. Winter Zero is getting ready for it, but I think it takes more time. The army, do we have Cyclone in this? No, uh, on initiate, so I don't think he will ever go tier 3. Just go for talents and fury fire. So this is the combo for the storm. We have a Kodo a plus 18 blade master. Thanks to these items. But the expansion is finishing, and we have another heal scroll. Fly and Shishi are playing this smart. They're playing it safe, and they don't do mistakes. Reliant on the expansion a little bit. Trying slowly to increase the quality of the stream. Nice little fight here. Fly versus 1 to 0. Mass dispel all the destroyers have so much mana. And these grunts, they are just victims. But speaking of victims, the DK can go out with, with a TP now. But that were a lot of grunt kills here. And in the meantime, he has to defend this. Nice shockwave. He can't get the tree because there's no raiders. But forced the TP. Didn't lose too much. Once again, a very interesting game. The Lich is level 3 now. The Lich has a lot of mana and the orb. But Shishi and Fly, they saved both their Night Elf Gold Mines. And Fly is pretty happy on 50 food. Dark Ranger third now. Not a single second hero for Shao KK. So much range. Did he get rid of enough? Grunts so he can break through this. We'll see about that. No raiders, just walkers. And grunts, obviously. Kodo number one is down, but the aura is still up. Three destroyers with so much mana. This is free XP. These grunts, man, they have no place in this game anymore. Heal wave saves them for a bit. The same destiny have the walkers here, man. This magic damage is absolutely astonishing. On the other side, Shao KK is losing a lot to that shockwave was neat. But as long as the destroyers are there, the Shadow Hunter is in deep pr problems, but not enough damage gets the heal self out or heal wave out. He cannot afford to lose this DK here. No way. Which hero is gonna die first? The Demon Hunter is doing a good job. But can the archers win the fight against the destroyer? They get rid of one. Next shockwave rattling through, almost killing the Shadow Hunter there. Oh, the heal wave bounces to the right targets. But the Demon Hunter with the last invo post. There's one more, but there's a Shockwave coming! Oh my god, everything is falling apart. Fork lightning rattling through, but it's not enough at this point. Level 2 on the Dark Ranger, and the Demon Hunter staff out! TC in trouble as well, but gets out there. Looks like 1 2 0 is just chewing through this. He l didn't lose a single thing except the one destroyer. Now we have Shockwave level 3. Only piercing damage in this army. No Raider, no Walker. Triple kill with the Shockwave! So it's the Blade Master to rescue him now. More grunts. He does have pillage. Oh, coil to save him. Nice. Right before the critical strike. Of course, Shao KK is losing grunts as well, but that doesn't matter at all. The shockwave against the Talon will be sick. Does he have another mana potion somewhere? Yes, he does on the DK. Maybe he should swap it over, but of course on the other side. Keeping stuff alive is also good, but there's the coil. That's the kill. Demon Hunter down. That should be game. Without the first hero, he can just clean house. There we go again. Both heroes incredibly low. Level 4 on the Lich. And the Lich is having a great time, man. With so much Nova to work with. They got... Oh, Shishi left the game. Only Fly is in. <laughs> Yumi is leaving the game as well. <coughs> and that's it! 1-1 one, one equalizer between Fly and him. 
And the next game has already started, unfortunately. So we are reliant on Nettie's TV now. Ah! Uh... Yeah, it's kind of better, but not really. I know that. Um, quality is shit, but at least it's kind of stable, but also not really. I don't know um, what to do. I will just go on with this. There's nothing I can do. I restarted everything already. Um, maybe it's just switch servers or something. I don't know. Unfortunately, I can't do too much. I can't do anything now. That's always bad, because you know us. We always want to give you the best quality. We want to give you HD and 60 FPS. But today, the gods are not with us, as it seems. <laughs> Thank you, Rapcrom and uh, Rubjish, for still subscribing while we have technical difficulties here. This all will be in best quality possible on YouTube later, so I have to excuse, uh, yeah, like, I have to excuse myself for this. Usually that would be the time for Remo to take over, but since Remo doesn't have internet at all at the moment, uh, we're kind of stuck with this. Later on. Someone didn't go to church this morning. Yeah, that's kind of right, I didn't. So, pretty strong comeback by 1-0 to zero in Shao KK. To be honest, I didn't expect that because it looked like Flying Shishi are playing this so good and so confident and with a nice game plan. But maybe it was just the fact that Turtle Rock is not designed uh, for mass expansions and expansions are really hard there. And yeah, it worked on a big map. Like Lost Temple, so I assume we're gonna see TM. Or, what else is there for death? No. I think TM is most likely. And since the game is not up, I will just get some energy. Be right back. Because casting alone is hard already, and if there's like a constant uh, blinking red and yellow dot in my OBS, then it's even more stressful. But whatever. <laughs> this is church. <laughs> kind of true. The Warcraft church we have here. Game is up! We're loading in. And I forgot to check the map, but it is TM. So kind of a good prediction here. Alright, you hear it. And they change the colors again. There we go. So, Twisted it is. Definitely a better map for Fly and Shishi this time. More expansions possible. And therefore, seems to be better for them. They are starting in the bottom. 
once again with the Keeper of the Grove first. And the unusual Orc Undead combination of Shao KK and 120 starting in the north. PC first again with double Burrow Tech and a shop, so one of the latest techs you can go for. Blade Master starts off with Critical Strike, not Wind Walk, of course. Makes sense while creeping. A and the Keeper of the Grove with attack. Entangle this time instead of. Shreans. Engine of War here, second Engine of War on the base, so Mass Huntress against Mass Grunts. At one point the critical mass will be too much for Shao KK to hold on, but then it's the question how many fiends are gonna be there. On Lost Temple we saw something equal, but there they took such good care of the fiends super early on. And I wonder if they are able to achieve this again. coming out with Stomp this time, of course a lot, of, a, a bigger map, way bigger map. On TR there were a lot of chokes, so Shockwave makes sense, especially if you know that your opponent's team goes for talents, but no. Not here, not on TM. A player's forces are under attack. Tier one and a half tech here, no tech for Shishi. Level 2 on the Blade Master. But so far the fiends are alive. And that's critical. But crit and entangle is a devious combo. There's two coils remaining though. And another stomp. Maybe the Blade Master. Oh, he misses the BM. Quite bad that stomp by Shao KK. scroll to get that fiend again the first target are always the fiends and this long range got him he wanted to coil again but too late he was waiting for the mana but he almost gets this around trying to block with the wisps but no the early game belongs to the night elf orc team and they continue this rampage with well by killing acolytes or at least distract this is a lot of gold that they get in the tech I don't think he will cancel the tech because uh, Xiao KK can always feed him. There's no staff. Haha! <laughs> He's blocking him there! There's no TP, there's no staff. He can get out though by cancelling that building. I don't know what cost. Is Xiao KK nervous? I've seen better of his, to be honest. Oh, Blade Master walking into the creep can. Ballsy! Definitely ballsy. She, she's still on tier 1. Not going for an expo at the moment. That's their strongest thing they have. Like, going for expansions or the ability to go for expansions. Well, this is just not designed to do for Orc versus Undead. Here's the expansion now, and he, they keep him busy like all the time. As long as there's a little bit of mana remaining for the entangles, they get this. I don't think there's a call for this. The next queen dies. Oh, the DK himself is in trouble. This is like a carbon copy of Lost Temple. This is so like the same thing. And the absence of fiends mean that the Huntress win against the Grunts down there. So much is hurt. And another fiend dies. Wow. They played this so goddamn well without losing too much. The DK can't go up front. Speed scroll being used now. Oh, is there a hack somehow? No, just here wave. 
and the stun prevents him from doing worse. So the surround doesn't help. Even the ghouls have to help in this fight. The first raiders are coming. So Entangle and Ensnare now. Shao KK just going with grunts, 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 grunts. That's all he does. And feeds them into the Night of Walk army. I was just about to say, maybe Fly and Chishi are playing a little too risky. Oh, Flute now. Nice! 10% on Huntress. And Dryads if they come later. The expansion is almost up. Will they take the time to creep it? Or will they keep up the pressure? Last game, the Destroyers were the absolute MVP. No way about it. Uh, no discussion about it. Without Destroyers... They didn't win, or they, they couldn't win TR. So maybe it will happen again, but this time I guess we see Dryads. Oh, Shishi's still on tier 1. Maybe it's Bad Riders then, in the absence of anti-air. Or maybe they don't even need it. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, Vamp Aura as well. This is what I was talking about on TR. Vamp Aura and Scourge Bone Chimes. This is such a massive advantage. Trying to get some nukes here done, but it's too fast. And again, Shao KK is giving up his main base, like his production buildings are falling, and he doesn't accomplish anything in the meantime. Double Rex down, and still like eight hunters to work with. Ridiculous. Now they have to save the base, but it's way too late. <laughs> Good stomp. Good Nova. Shadowhunter almost pulls. Shadowhunter stabs out now. Shishi with good overview of the fight. And again, it's two gold mines versus one, and soon it will be three gold mines versus one. A few hunters died there, but if that's the price you have to pay for this, then hell yeah, you do it. More hunters and more feeding from Fly and Shark. Okay, tier three is ready. Reinforced defenses, Kodal upgrade, and even Berserker upgrade. Against what? Oh, Spirit Walker Master Training. Is it time for Torin? Mm, no, not yet. Just more mana on the walkers. Can he rebuild it? No, he has. He's sent all go all resources over to one two zero, and again. He kinda has to face two opponents alone. It's still a lot of grunts though. A player's the forces under are under attack. Can they really go for a base kill? Against a fortress with 2500? I'm not too sure. Shishi thinks no. Fly thinks no. As they go for the Black Citadel. And even if they trade this, then it's still two gold mines versus zero. Just stomp on the peons. Do they have a TP? One. Okay, but without one to zero, they can't fight in this base. Black Citadel is gone, the towers are gone, and that means the haunted gold mine will fall as well. He sells it even! Two bases wiped out <coughs> for the dominating team of Group A. And it looks like Flying Shishi will get match points after this. No production for 1 to 0, no income for the entire team. This is, is all Star KK has left. 
or do they have a chance somehow? Hero levels are not looking that good. He can't rely on a nuke. <laughs> nice little scout here. For the third expansion. The fly is out of gold. Can he rebuild something somewhere? Doesn't look like it. I don't think he has to. Shishi can just give him the money. I'm actually losing all the production buildings as well. Okay, so both orcs have to fight with what they have. And Undead versus Night Elf usually suits the undead, but on a map like TM, in a 2 on 2, expansions are just way too important. And Shishi is doing the perfect thing. One tree of life, two trees of life, three trees of life, plus this one. One or two Players will come through. Are under attack. A town is under siege. Keeper again with the heal scroll in the town portal. And that's only four buildings remaining. Ah! He gets the tiny great hole up. So Shao KK at the moment keeps them in the game. Not sure how much longer. There's so much red on this map. They're dominating this map. With their flutes and auras and whatever they have. One more building! Oh, is he gonna hide something on the island? He's definitely pushing this one. Flies nearby though, level 4 on the Shadow Hunter. He broke the Rovers in this. Okay, he's saving that peon. But he needs more scouting. 1 2 0 and Chao KK, they need to scout more. And see all. Oh, this is the final. This is the final building. Oh no, the peon has to do something. Chao KK leaves the game. He wanted to hide a building there if you saw it late. But not fast enough, and that means match points for Fly and match points for Joshishi. Damn, they played this big maps f uh, good. Like, really, really good. They know exactly what to do. They have a game plan for the first seven, eight minutes. And if they win the first fight, then they just expand. And then there's nothing they can do about it. In ah, but those were the good maps for them, I guess. We are left with Death Trap. It's bad for expansions. We are down to um, Goldshire and Centaur Grove. So, I think those maps speak in favor of 1 to 0 and Chao KK. So, we might see a crazy comeback here. Let's tear the mid game. Oh, yeah. Game has started, so it will be in Nettie's TV in a bit. We do have new subs. Still. It's amazing that we're suffering through a bit of lag and low quality here, and you still try to support us. Uh, your dad has subscribed for four months. It has been so long, he says. <laughs> yeah, I know, guys. Everything is fucked up today. The stream, my hair... Everything. Whatever. It's Sunday, right? Who cares? Well, we do, I guess. And nice that still 800 people are watching this. Really appreciate. It's getting better, but just slightly. I think if I'm raising the quality, then the lag start again. We'll try. And maybe it's just one map left. And it is Death Trap! Map number four. And maybe the last of today for this 2 and 2 tournament. And we're loading into it. The dam stand ready. Ooh, 
Ooh, they kept the colors. I like that. So, map number four. And match points. Fly and Shishi starting in the bottom of Death Trap. And on the other side, in the north, we have the Undead Orc team who were so dominant before going into this final. 3-0 in the group stage. Only losing one map to Lolite and so in. 3-0 against Yumiko and WFZ. And Fly and Shishi, they were struggling to even make it out of the group stage there. But they made it, they defeated Infi and TH 3 to 1, and this could be the same result on this very map. Let's see the hero choices. It's a late hero for 1 to 0 again. It's a blade master for Shao KK. For the first time, we don't see the TC, but the one and only blade master. On Shishi's side, it's a demon hunter, so. Very standard heroes now. No Keeper of the Grove, no TC, no neutral hero, whatever. They are facing a silver medal and they decide to lay their trust in the hands of the Blade Master. Again, double Borrow tech, this time no double barracks, at least not yet. Doesn't have golden lumber for it, so I think it's fine like that. Creeping starts, very normal creep routes for both of them, or for all four of them, starting with the little murlocs here. But of course, inventories are not that important, heroes are not that important, it's more about timings. A player's forces are under attack. And unit compositions, but especially timings in 2 and 2 are so crucial, like the way Fly and Shishi attacked the fiends very early on. <laughs> that was just sick. That was really sick. Tier 2 tech started. Shishi again feeding a little bit. Same on the other side. Wow, super fast tech. Even without a shop. Interesting tech route. Players' forces are under attack. And what a slow opening to Death Trap this is. Lots of creeping, a little bit of scouting, and that's about it, right? No attacks, no little skirmishes. But alright, this map, pretty reminiscent of... Uh, what was it called? Avalanche. A map that we don't see in this tournament, but we've seen many, many times in <coughs> former competitions. Starting positions in the corners, two lanes, a little bit of stuff in the middle. Except the dual expansion is not there, which is quite imbalanced, I think. A player's forces are under attack. So 1 to 0 keeps his fiend so far. It's only archers, so they don't have the risk of losing too much. Also, no keeper of the grove. I think these fiends should be safe. Rishishi going for Huntress Hall, so Dryads behind the Orc blocker mass of Raiders and Grunts. But where to go from there? Destroyers can't the be the real answer, right? That's why Shao KK is teching faster as well. And a lot of this entire overlay. A player's forces are under attack. Still level 3 DK, but the Blade Master has a nice inventory. Having the trifecta here. And an additional circlet. Demon Hunter on the other side, also a trifecta. 
Plus... Most of invulnerability. First little go by Fly as it seems, scouting for tier 2 buildings that are supposed to come up. Okay, he will get that beast free. And he is short on lumber. This could hurt him really bad. Yeah, it delays this attack buildings. For quite a bit. I mean, there's a few peons in. So he does damage against the Blade Master himself. Can he get a grunt? He gets a grunt quite easily. Only has to use one backstab. But look at how careful 120 is with moving out. Still scared. Naga second. And engine of lore. Engine of lore. A player's forces are under attack. So of course the dryads counter the destroyers. So what's the answer to them? The other side, Raider Walker, no problem. He kind of needs them, the destroyers, to dispel and stuff. Shaki K only now going for his tier 2 buildings. On the other side, tier 3 on the way, Slaughterhouse already up, plus a little delayed Lich. Shadowhunter is out in more attack. I don't know if I like 1 to 0 being so passive against this combo. There's no disable in this army except Hex now. So he could have done a bit more, I think. But they will do better. They will know better. Solo experience to the Shadow Hunter. No expansions yet, but they are freed up. Massive experience advantage for Fly. But backstab secures another kill. It's here already. That is heal wave, and the destroyer upgrade is coming. A town is under siege. She, she, not even thinking about an expansion at this point. Makes no sense to do so. Blade Master gets the invul in heal scroll. It's so big. So basically, the shops belong to both teams. So, stealing them or grabbing them is always super nice. Blade Master is still roaming around, but has to use his backstep soon, most likely on a grunt to try to kill it. But in the meantime, he has so much time to get the Lord. But does he really? Oh, this is dangerous, 1 2 0. Even using a hex on this Ogre Lord, oh, securing a kill with Coil Nova, only getting a Helm of Valor in return. But the rest of the army is coming. Supply advantage for Fly and Shishi, get the Ogre Lord. But we have Nova and the Orb. Off we go, advantage for Night Elf Orb team. But Fiends are crazy strong at this point. Blight Master survives with 15 HP. Catches the heal wave. How long will this last? Four seconds or something. Then the Invul Potion is gone. But gets a mana burn out, so no coil anymore. But maybe the Fiends can do something. But no, the healing was too good. And they're storming through this again with the Dryads and Ant Snares. They pick up one unit after another. Demon Hunter level 4, super duper tanky. And this one destroyer, he doesn't have the control like he did have on Turtle Rock. Grunts are falling left, right and center on both sides. It's going for the Blade Master again, a critical strike and he's dead. But no, the Heal Wave is there again for him. Fly is plummeting in supply, but so is the rest. So is the yellow team. Another two units dead. Eight supply vanished of the earth. And eight, they won this fight again. They are expanding again. This is history repeating. A player's forces are under attack. 37 supply only. 34 for the orc. That's ridiculously low. And Fly did a good job in keeping all those Dryads safe. Even using a Crystal Ball here. Nice. Revealing the counter expansion position, seeing okay, they didn't do anything. I don't have to worry at all. And while Undeads were, uh, I mean, Night Elves were unsuccessful for a long, long time, or are still, 
in one on one competition. In two and two, seems like you have to have them just for expansions. They saved their asses so many times. Second attack upgrade. The Demon Hunter is a beast. And this is a tiny little orc army. Can he reach with giants? No. Prevents from doing so. Prevents one. No, oh, is he creeping? Yeah, just creeping. Not too much to gain here. A player's forces are he's getting ready to break upkeep, but he's not in a position to do so, I guess. Economically. One more mistake and we have a champion. Pretty safe to say that. Shishi is going in upkeep already. Fly is still banking a bit, but I think once the expansion is up, he will break as well. Oh, a depth upgrade only now. Dryad sees the army is laughing a bit. Oh, late. oh, the Kodo completely out of position. There is a heal wave, yeah. It's on level 2, yeah. But 1 to 0 has the TP. The Destroyer is in a good position. He's going for the Shadow Hunter immediately. One heal wave, it's on cooldown now. But nice repositioning there. Late Master running around like a headless chicken, trying to go for the DK. 186 critical strike. The Raiders, they are, of course, uh, one of the first to attack. But I think the Concave against this Destroyer is fairly good. Kodo's on both sides, so the aura is working for all four of the players. But this range army, they are just so safe. You see, the Undead army is all over the place. The Night Elf army is here. And pretty much untouched. Level 2 on the Dark Ranger, level 4. No level 3 on the Lich, though. Catches a coil. He will reach that level in this fight, most likely. If he's not dying soon. But no, the Blade Master has to get away and wait for the next heal wave. Going for the Blade Master now. There's no TP, no invo. A uh, heal potion has been swapped. Oh my god. 1 to 0. Nice reactions, but it's not enough. They lose their hero. They lose their units. They lose this final. Most likely. <coughs> Can they get a revenge kill? No, there's a staff. This staff has saved their asses many, many, many times as well. As important as. The expansion is, was. He's driving them back, but Shao KK was just plummeting in supply. Down to 32. That's nothing. That's your economy, that's your two heroes, and that's it. Plus, they're mining and mining. Almost 5,000 domains. They have to attack, but they don't have the force to do so a player's forces are under attack also it looks like there's not enough piercing damage there's almost no piercing damage at all of course a lot of fiends were dead a town is under siege Players' forces are under attack. Was this the fight that won them the game? That bought the time for the Expo to run? Shishi again in upkeep. He should have yeah, two one upgrades again. Fly on one two, so a lot of armor here. Zero two on Shishi as well. 1 to 0 with the 0, 0. Only focusing on units. Nothing else. Warsome Battle Drones upgrade. We have the Orb of Lightning. They are just preparing their opponents for the final feast. Let's go to the heroes again. Level 4. DK with a heal scroll. Invo Potion. 4, 3, 2 is decent. On the other side. Almost 4. And four with a heal scroll and a beast scroll. They're slowly but steady coming back into this game. I mean, this lore is dead. Two heal Here's potions, four. three heal yeah. potions for Shishi. Big invul on the blade and everything you need on the shadow. 
Yeah, 63. Pushing into upkeep is a little crippled. But they catch these statues of guard, and that is the worst thing that could happen to 120, and that's why he's TPing out. TC third. We have a lot of heroes here. Ten heroes in this game. Close to the max. Players' forces are under attack. When are they supposed to do a strike against this expo? They're planning, they're preparing. They're holding on to that little straw they have. But it's a little bit desperate as well. Hero focus, I think is one of the attack. only options three destroyers how many have mana one two of them only and off we go is this the final fight in this tournament storm doesn't hit too much but it's only level one so it doesn't matter fork lightning hits better though and that stomp was massive Stunning the entire blocker line here, finding some space for the ranged units. There's so many of them. Plus four on each try. Level four, but the Demon Hunter is dead. And can they turn this game around now? Fork Lightning, there's an invo post on the Blade Master. He has to use it soon, Shao KK does. Still three destroyer in the air. DK is gonna be attacked there. He has nothing. No TP, no potion. Shadow Hunter has to take care of him, but there's no mana anymore. TC dies as well as the second kill, but now level four. On Fly's Blade Master, will it rain critical strikes or not? He's killing so much of Shao KK. The Demon Hunter is back from the tavern. He invested a lot into this. And now crits over crits. Who's gonna win this? It's almost equal there, but Perch is such a nice addition. I mean, Off of Corruption is super good as well, but you feel the Purge more. Can the Lich clean this up? We have seen so many times where Lich and Fiends just wreck through a Dryad army, but not if he dies! Dispels the Hex! Gets the Invo Potion, though there is mana for a Coil, needs to use it soon. Where is the Coil? There we go. I wasn't... Oh no, it wasn't a big Invo, it was a normal one. Oh my god, so many Dryads are falling. They are just wiping out the entire Dryad army. Blade Master and Lich are so sick and I take everything back. It's not decided yet. They took this game, turned it around, and here we are again. Attack. Despite there's an expansion running for like six minutes or so, maybe seven. They are still in this game. Thanks to two beautiful hero kills. Right at the start of this fight. But again, do they have the firepower to kill the explosion? Let's detonate. We have invo potions on two heroes. He's waiting for it though. Only gets a heal scroll. There's still a little bit of freight. Is under siege. She got his lore back. Oh, and Shao KK might be caught off guard here. They know where 1 to 0 is, but they know he has a town portal. But even with raiders, running away from dryads is impossible. <laughs> Drop the gauntlets before using the potion. Okay. Game again, 20 minutes old. Quite a few marathons here today. Fly and Shishi are trying to find their opponents. Only 
a seven foot advantage here. That's it. Two units. The heroes are strong on each side. They are pushing the expansion now and it seems to be working. Fly and Shishi are far away. They don't want to TP, but Chao KK is getting rid of it. Nova. Did he dodge the Nova there? And pull the Wisp back. Blade Master's there. Because of the statues, level 4 on the ledge. Nova again on the repairing Wisps. This is halfway dead. But now there's no... Oh my god, there's no repair anymore. Can he right click and cancel it? No. No, 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 no. With Shao KK, maybe without him. No way! Doesn't lose the destroyer. But that was close. He actually thinks Please he bought the time for the expansion. If this goes through, it's a whole new game. If this gets cancelled, I'm pretty sure it's over. 500 remaining. Main gold mines are down. Free expansion for Shishi. And that's why Fly is expanding here. Do they know this? I mean, of course they know. But what can they do against it? Level 5 on SH and DK. 4 on this first and second wheel. There, TC in focus. Nice storm. Oh, the Dark Ranger! Catches the coil. Focus switches to the TC. Critical strike and the has silence on him. There's another stomp though. He will be safe. For now at least. Uh oh, hero focus again. This time it's the Blade Master of Fly. And this time he has an invo potion and a heal potion. Invo potion on the other side as well. So much going on here. Three destroyers in the air again. The Shadow Hunter full with mana. Heal wave rattling through over and over. No invo potion or heal potion. The Demon Hunter anymore. Use the heal spread. It has to be T uh, staffed out. Otherwise he would have been dead. TC has no value in this army. It's just five dead supply. So, okay, okay, now he's an aura. But this looks good! 4-1-2-0 in Shao KK. For now at least, Blade Master is revealed as Hanstead is dead! The heal wave arrives too late, they lose their main damage dealer. There's a lot of blocking stuff, there's peons, but who cares if there's no crit anymore. He's trying to get revenge with the Hanstead that he has, but the DK with the invul potion, he feels so safe, or should he? No! Oh my god, this spells it again! Good control by 1-2-0. Making sure his first hero survives, but can he find the gap? There is no healing anymore, and the big axe knocks him down. No coil, no unholy aura, but also no TC. Shao KK wipes the floor here with his blade mask. He's going to the demon hunter. This is insane. So much hero focus. Backstab, heal wave right at the test. Perfect timing, and the staff out, but he is the lich is gone. No orb of corruption. When the hell did that happen? But Shishi is down to 38. Fly is down to 26. He only has his Kodos and the heroes trying to run away with the heal scroll. But the Blade Master thinks no, the Raiders think no. I will ensnare everything of you and I will chase you. I will run you down and I will kill all of you. In the meantime, expansion is up there, but also here. It's scouted though. He sends a Kodo interestingly after them. Shishi repaired this. There's so much gold inside. But I think this time he has the time. They have such a huge supply lead. So one down, one to go. To make this series a marathon and take it into map five for the first time in the playoffs. Late Master's coming back, but how long will this take forever? A lot of buildings being sold by 120 West. Now a thousand gold at this stage of the game. Is Shishi re expanding? No way! 120 is building expansion here. Most likely just scouting. Kills off the fiend? Why? Okay, he can produce nothing. He supply stuck. Did he sell a cigarette too quickly? Oh, he wants. Ah, he wants the DK back. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's why he's fr uh, freeing up supply. He just wanted the DK back. Now the statues have to work overtime. 
Or Night Elf team has their heroes back in a bit. But he sells so many of them, like kills them. What is he going to do? He doesn't want the opponent's heroes to be level 6. Which is back as well. Okay. Undead army reassembled. Orc army reassembled. 80 supply versus 60. He finds the expert. He's camping on his own. There's no item on the undead. Nothing. Fascinating series between them. <laughs> Long distance mining by fly. There's no gifts in this series. What they get, they earn. But I think dryads are not enough. Not as long as the liches around. We killed a few fiends, yes, for sure. But dryads are squishy, even if they have 2 1. It looks like 1 to 0 and Shao KK are getting ready to knock down this expo. Uh oh, oh, and their Hex Blade Master are oh, staffed out again. The silence just a split second too late, but on what? On the cost of his life, he dies so quickly. And there's so much ends there. Without the Shadow Hunter, I think this is even worse than the loss of the Blade Master or potential loss of the Blade Master. No heal wave anymore for Fly and Shishi. They get. To the Tree of Ages, and they have the damage this time in the main base. In the, in the meantime, counter go, but I think they're fine with this. Yep, Tree of Ages down. Can they? It's only piercing damage. Can they come back and defend this? Rebuilding peons isn't that hard. And then it's income versus no income. Late Masters there again. If he's lucky with a crit, he's dead. Backstab, no crit. Is he solely focusing on heroes or what's he doing? The Dryads and the Demon Hunter do good damage, but the Demon Hunter is under focus. He actually gets rid of it. He actually gets rid of his expansion and TPs out. No way. Shadowhunter survives on level 6. Nobody is mining anymore. Shishi lost his free expansion. Shao KK at 80 supply. Lost their normal expansion. What's the resources saying? He can build one more, I think. Zero gold for one two zero. Fly constantly with long distance mining. <laughs> it's only dryads, so five and five point four and almost five. He gets both heroes back again. The Blade Master survived, but where is he? Yeah, that's what he has to do. There he is. See, okay, the armies are not united at the moment. But Fly has only 15 supply, he doesn't have an army anymore, not at all. It's a few peons, and that's it. But Fly is a good Blade Master player. Showing off here, killing this. The thing, uh, the thing is, there's no fiend anymore against the dryad, but there's so many raiders. But I think if he only gets the hero kill, then that's it! Coil Nova right clicks, boom! Executed in split seconds. And again, the damage is missing. Again, he blocks him in. Again, there's no potion, but... Okay, there's a stab. But his two biggest damage dealers are gone. And there's a few raiders. That is not necessary. We go full distance, baby. 2-2 two, two between Fly Shishi and 1-2-0 Shao KK. Holy cow. What a series. That's pretty fun.
And the last map is either Goldshire, of course, or Centaur Grove, right? We haven't seen Centaur Grove yet. I thought the game is over. I thought Fly and Shishi have this tournament ready. But this this one two zero guy is just out of his mind sometimes. So it's actually going full distance. It's actually going onto map five. And are they in the game already? Yes. So we have to wait like two minutes. And then the champion will be crowned. The last GCS champion, I think, was Fly and Shishi, right? Oh, no, it was Ted and Hainu. But Fly and Shishi were in the finals. If I'm not mistaken. 2016 Fall was the last 2-2 two two tournament. Ted and Hainu won against, yeah, Fly and Shishi in the final. There it was a 3-2 for Ted and Hainu on Nullwood, actually. Which we haven't seen in this tournament, I guess. Uh, oh. In the 2016 spring season, there it was, Fly and Shishi winning it over Yumiko and WFZ in the finals. And Fly and Shishi ending up uh, the winner. I don't really know the results of the final at the moment, but yeah. There are people hoping for Centaur Grove when there is freaking Goldshire in the pool. You guys have to learn a lot about Warcraft. <laughs> Me too. But I know that Goldshire is awesome, so that's fine. Ah, oh, I'm quite excited for this now. Stream is at least stable again, right? I mean, it doesn't, it looks like shit, but it's stable at least, right? Centaur Grove is more epic. I don't know, mate. I don't know. It does have cool mercenaries, though. I grant you that. It is... Oh! Tidewater Glades! We haven't seen that at all. Or at least I haven't. That's a very interesting map. Because it's very easy to get some big consumables there. And I wonder if they abuse it. Ready to work. Ready for the final match of the series and of this tournament of Fly and Shishi versus 120 and Sha Pekke. Is cool. We're off to an epic, hopefully epic, last map on Centaur Grove. Here they are in the south. Oh, by the way, thank you, Snow Wheel, uh, for the sub for four months already. In the south, we have the former GCS champions of the spring season 2016. It's Fly and Shishi. Going for a keeper of the Grove again. On the other side, I would be very surprised to see anything else with a Blade Master. There we go with Grunt build and maybe... No, two Burrow Attack. On the other side, the team that I've never seen before, before today. It is uh, the guy who played GCS but lost in the first round. It's Shao KK and his ally. The former GCS champion as well. One, two, zero. So, it's a DK and it's a Blade Master. They had success with this on Death Trap, so why not do it again on Tidewater Glades? And this is it. This creep spot is so easy and gets. Yeah, you see? It's ridiculous. Wend of Mana Stealing, not that great, but if this is a Scroll of the Beast. Oh, both get the Wend of Mana Stealing, so just a little gold boost. But yeah, that a little trapper like this 
gives you an item like that. I think that's imbalance. So we were quite lucky that those were not a scroll of the beast, otherwise the rush tactic is so much more powerful. A player's Double tech! Are under attack. On the other side we see quite the same... No, Shishi is feeding again. With Mass Huntress. And they see each other. And they know what's up. I think this will just be... Dipping a toe in the water at the moment. Just a little bit of skirmish. Exchanging a few hits here and there. But... Uh, 1 to 0 and Shao KK should know that at the moment they can't do anything against the Keeper. So be careful with your grunts. Be careful with your fiends. And interrupt their creeping as good as you can. And don't lose all the fiends again. That's key. Well... Last time when we saw Mass Fiends, we had Mass Grunts as well. Riju, by the way, quite an annoying spell if you want to solo creep this. But for Watch Awards, looks like it's worth it. A player's forces are under attack. He yeah, parks the Fiends in the base. Level 2 here, as I said, very slow opening. Oh, he gets the grunt there. Most likely. Oops. Ah, actually, 300. He has to invest another one. He does have another one. Oh, nice long range entangle. This is good damage, man. A player's forces are under Over 100. And. Oh, what, 130 on level 1? And he gets the kill, that's quite big. Oh, oh. oh, reveal being used. He doesn't have a wind walk anymore! Otherwise. Oh my god, this inventory, look at it, man. Claws, slippers, circlet, mana stone. Fly can certainly be happy about this. Boots now on the keeper, even better. Together with Entangle. But again, expanding is quite hard on this map, as they are only in the middle. Reveal for the Blade Master. He doesn't see the Blade Master, but the uh, Knight of Army coming in. So this is a Force Town portal. And Fly has all the time in the world. Okay. Shishi does an incredible job feeding and buying time. Tier 3 tech immediately. Shadowhunter, Beast 3, Lodge, uh, not Lodge, but Warmel, and immediate tier 3. Not the same for Shao KK. At least not yet. Yeah, that was a quite a stupid deal work. Lich coming, tier 3 and Slaughterhouse. But how long will Huntress be worth anything? Second Mana Stone! Jesus Maria Um The Shadow Hunter is gonna be so happy <laughs> So much okay tick 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 sick mana region And another claw as well Someone wants fly to win as it seems The other there's just a lot of consumables This Blade Master is so underwhelming they get a few kills here Let's compare the Blade Masters. It's two level difference. One and a half, but you know what I mean. A player's forces are under Still attack. attack. And they're getting creep checked again. And entangle against the fiends again. We've seen this twice before. And now the Shadow Hunter is out. And we have plus 17 on the Blade Master. This is looking. Pitch black for Fly and Shishi. Uh, for Shao KK and 1 to 0. They lose another unit. If nothing goes crazy. Ah, Hex, nice. A player's force well reacted. But this upgrade that you see now is the key in this last and final map. 
Once they are destroyers, then hunters melt. And he's not attacking. Is he transitioning to archers? Nope. He's not. Giving his fate and destiny in the hands of fly. A player's forces are under attack. Huntress are good if you can push an expansion or anything, or a base, but I don't know if they want that. I don't know if they can. I don't know if... Oh. No TP on 120. And the forces are coming. Can they escape? Looks like it. Oh, the creep spot has been pulled, so it can go away. No town portal on any of them. In 2 and 2, it's absolutely attack. mandatory to go for that. And there... They have the salad, man. This is not looking good at all. Not a good fight position. The destroyer is up, though. And ghouls are coming in. This is maybe the fight for the tournament. The shadow hunter is caught off guard, but this blade master is so sick. Taking care of the shadow hunter as well. So he's out. There's no block line at all. Everything is all over the place. The lich is out of position. Hex, though. Is there a coil? Yes, there is now. Does he want to use it offensively or not? Doesn't. Oh my god, the blade master's falling. The blade master's actually falling! What the hell, Fly? This is not supposed to happen. The Shadow Hunter with another heal wave, the Zeppelin to save him. <laughs> 1 to 0. And Shao KK. They haven't lost a single series in this tournament. And it looks like they won't. And they take this home. What a fight! They got sandwiched. They were they have no TP. This was do or die. And it looks like it's due. Gaw coil right on time. The Keeper is squishy, the Shadow Hunter is squishy. He's also out of mana now. And just Shao KK- Oh, this is dangerous! There's a heal potion, he uses it. And now the Keeper of the Grove is on the menu. Nice usage of the Zeppelin there. But what's it worth? Entangle again. But where's the damage? You had a plus 17 Blade Master. Where's your damage? You walk into the creeps, what? Oh no. He's actually losing this SH. I can't believe it. Oh, but he gets a counter kill. And that's the first hero versus the second hero. Boom, and that's worth it. Shao KK getting the kill here. Fly trying to evacuate again with the speed scroll. Has been dispelled only on the Shadow Hunter, though. And a few Huntress. As I said, critical timing. Once the destroyers are out, this matchup is turned on its head. So, supply. Show it. Slight advantage for 1 to 0 and Shao KK. But the hero kills, they count. And they bought so much time. There's no way in hell that Chishi can expand anyway, anytime soon. He's of course the one supporting fly now so he gets up to 50 as soon as possible and creep up the shadow hunter but it's hunting season and they will chase them all across phantom grove uh no what's it called tight water glades they're doing a good job splitting the armies uses the hunters as a little decoy and the blade master is back it's actually plus 22 with the orb Reinforced defenses. Are under attack. But it didn't look good for Fly and Shishi if they had no expansion. And there it's absolutely not possible to go for an expansion now. Shao KK is back at 50 as well. 100 supply for the yellow team against 90. Don't get me wrong, this game is not over at all. Boots of Keltalas! Glass Cannon Blade Master with plus 36. He used the health stones, uh, the, the mana stones before. But if there has ever been a savior, then it's this guy. The attack speed is insane. Not getting an invul, just the heal scroll. He has 100 mana from the Well of Mana stealing. He has 250 with the mana potion. A player's forces are under attack. Town is under siege.
What? Ha oh, he got a creep check. He lost the lich at the rat camp. Sorry, I missed that. And yeah, the blade master is absolutely sick. Staff of silence as well. Fly is the luckiest man on earth now. And now they can expand, maybe. What a turnaround this could be. Losing the Lich is crucial because the Lich has the Orb of Venom. Uh, Orb of Corruption. And without the Orb of Corruption you can't fight. Orb of Darkness. Meh. Not comparable to a Step of Silence. Not even close. Lich doesn't get any XP now. And here's the drop! Into the main base, Entangle right clicks Bouncing Glaze. He's just going for the Haunted Goldmine. 1 2 0 has to TP again. But so far, there's not too much damage. Oh, it's Shao KK actually. So he lost two Acolytes. That's okay. Lich is back in a bit, but that bought so much time for this expansion. So, so, so much time. Even a witch doctor gets sniped. <sighs> Split push to secure the expo, to distract, first in the undead base, now in the orc base. Fly has the momentum now. And Fly has the sick blade master with plus 33. He gave up the slippers for a town portal and invul potion. And he doesn't want to fight this since 1 to 0 is there as well. But here you have it. Expansion 1, Expansion 2. This would be one of the sickest 2-2 two two comebacks that I've seen in a long, long time. But shows you again that heroes are not that important. I mean, this Blade Master speaks a different language, but... Is it like it? Oh, yeah, plus 17 on the Lich as well. Are under attack. And they want to break it. Bad position, of course. They do have a town portal. At least one. Okay, they have two. But no raiders. But they get rid of it. The question is, do they have to trade it for the base? Expo down. TP home. Okay, good job. Oh, Hex on the Keeper, so he can TP out. Gets him two Huntresses. Six supply gone. Maybe even nine. Yep. Good TP. Very good TP. In the meantime, <laughs> he can staff home whatever he wants, but there's a destroyer. <coughs> TP again. This time it's 1 2 0. About the staff of silence, man. Working like a charm. Dispel on the speed scroll. There is still silence. Here comes Nova. And they're just focusing the units. I really like that. No hero focus anymore. They get rid of unit after unit after unit. And the execution of the nuke is so well done. And Nova here, recoil there, always guaranteed kills. Question is, will they scout this? And the answer is yes. And the answer is double yes. So 1,000 gold advantage. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. A game worth a final. This game has been turned around twice now. And at the moment... 1-2-0, and Shao KK put the pedal to the metal, but not if they lose this Lich again. They have a Town Portal now. They have to... Oh my god, they don't. They don't have a TP. They are with a back against the shop, so maybe they can buy one. Invo Potion, but where is Shao KK? He's not even close. The Lich is about to die. Invo Potion pop. 
still no TP. Ah, there we go. That was close. Level up for the Keeper of the Grove, though. 1 2 0 with heavy losses. But still, supply advantage, and they killed this expansion off in the meantime. No expansions left. Only 1,800 gold here, 1,900 here. In the long run, the Aras against the gold mines will bite them in the ass, maybe. Keeper of the Grove catches a critical strike. Invo Potion, Heal Wave. There's not enough damage. There shouldn't be enough damage, nope. But they take this fight. I was just, yeah, I was surprised. So, okay, okay, has to TP out as well. There's just way too much. Two destroyers. Four, three. But those TPs, they cost quite a lot. He saw the drop. If he paid attention, he saw the Zeppelin, but I don't... Okay, he does. Oh, he did. Bad Rider! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! <sighs> Good reaction by Shishi here. But the Zeppelin is gone, and another Town Portal is gone. And Shishi is still on Tier 1. Player's forces are under Mass Huntress all the rage here. The yellow troops are gathering. I don't think there's much left in the shops. A town is under siege. But he does have an impulse left on the heal scroll. 19 minutes 30 in. Is this the decision? Massive Congo line, but the fight starts already. Fly with his sick blade master has to carry this. Good block alliance on both sides, but the destroyers again with mana. With so much damage against Grunts and Huntress. They are absolutely useless against this area of effect and this magic damage. But he loses one. Entangle on them. Shao KK, of course, Supar to fly in terms of micro. But he's there when he needed to be there. Or when he needs to be there. And he's buying time. Level 5 on the DK. Still 2 went of the wind. Oh, oh the Blade Master battle here. Fly will definitely win this, but if he's hexed. He's not. Oh, oh, nice wind walk. Heal ward is helping. It's not being cancelled. So much healing from this ward. And Fly and Shishi are plummeting in supply. Everything is crimson red. This should be the decision in Tetsu and Tuka. But I've said this before. And if there's one guy who can turn this around, it's definitely the Blade Master. But he has no mana anymore to reposition. Catches another heal wave. All hope is lost? Question mark Or all hope lies in crits? Going for the DK. There is a TP. He wants to get rid of it immediately. Hex comes out. Can TP. Critical strike. DK falls. The Hex comes too late. Can he get a counter kill somehow? But there's an info potion. Hex is over now. This Blade Master survives and he has a next target. That's the Lich. Kodo falls as well. The spell used again. But oh my god. Oh my god. What a game. Both heroes hurt. Can they run away somehow? <sighs> it does look like it. But Shao KK is down to... 16 supply, 25 for fly, and overtowering 90 supply for him for 1 2 0 and Shao KK. This must be game. We have the strongest Blade Master we've seen all tournament, but even that guy can't save against two armies. Fly loses the fortress. The DK is back, bought from the tavern. He wants to dive in again. Hex comes in. Is there a new guest there? Oh, heal wave. He got it is enough. Level up for the Dark Ranger. Now the damage leader is gone. And Fly can't do shit anymore except a little healing. But also that is uh, not possible anymore. The tournament is in the books. And the winners are 1-2-0 and Shao KK. What a game. What a worthy final. And what a crazy turnaround the entire time. That was pretty sick. That shade so helpful, says Todd. Yeah, you're right. To be honest, this day started real slow. The game for third was okay. The first games of the final were absolutely, like, not my style, to say the least. But... The first... Okay, Lost Temple was awesome, but you didn't see it because of technical difficulties. But map 4 and 5... Whew, 
Whoo! That's why I love two and two so much. That's why I love two and two so much. And I hope we see more tournaments like this. It's really a joy that Ted is such a big fan of two and two as well. And it's a blessing to see a little deviation from um, one on one. But I haven't cast two and two, uh, one on one in more than three weeks. So I guess it's time for some one on one. We have Jera Cup 136 coming up. Um, the champions here, one to zero and Shishi. I wonder if they will play together in the Senyu team cup as well. But if you have a strong two and two team, that will help. We will cover that from Tuesday to Thursday, most likely. We will keep you up to date on our social media and our homepage. That was it for Ted Cup. And off we go to Jara Cup. I will set everything up. And this will take a while, take a little rest, eat something. And then I think 10 minutes and then we're here. See you in a bit.